The ceramic artist I chose was Viola Gray. She was born in 1933 and died in 2004 at the age of 70. She had many mediums in which she worked with, one of which is bronze, which is what her sculpture Grandmother consists of, as well as gold leaf. Most of her sculptures are ceramic or bronze. Her piece, Mannequin Holding Statue, is an example of one of her ceramic works. Her next piece is not a sculpture, but pastel on paper. Her work was not strictly limited to sculptures. At the young age of 11, she submitted a rendition of a Matisse drawing to exhibit at the Sacramento Public Library, and the piece got accepted. Throughout her career, she switched back and forth between mediums and transfer techniques from one material to the other. This way, it created new approaches to working with each medium. I included this piece in the presentation because it made me think of our coil pots. Of course, none of us produce anything like this, but it is roughly the same size and same shape as what we made. Frey created Vase with Female Figures in 1952 after she graduated high school in 1951. After high school, she took classes at Stockton College, then received a scholarship to California College of the Arts. In 1955, she completed her BFA, then pursued her MFA at Tulane University. Here, she studied under George Rickey, Catherine Choi, and Mark Rothko. Proceeding her graduate degree, Frey moved to New York, where Choi founded the Clay Art Center in Port Chester and was involved with the advancement of ceramics. Frey commuted to Manhattan and worked in the business office of the Museum of Modern Art to supplement her income. In 1960, she returned to San Francisco. This is where figurative art and clay works were in the development of new ideas. This is when she started her piece, Ferret with Barbell. Along with Ferret with Barbell, she produced functional pottery, wall plates, and other ceramic sculptures during this time. HK is an example of one of her plates. She created more than 300 plates within her career. Her plates started out as flat and simple and turned to more complex sculptural pieces in later years. Oftentimes, she could finish several plates in one day. In the late 60s and early 70s, Frey used single frame images, often in silhouette like this piece. Frey admired Howard Kotler, a ceramic conceptualist. This is what HK stands for. As time went on, her work got taller and more colorful. Blow Man is approximately 10 feet tall. She moved from San Francisco to Oakland to expand her studio outside and study how natural light interacts with the commercial glazes she used. Once her figures started getting bigger, she needed more space. In addition to the garden studio in Oakland, she rented a 5,000 square foot warehouse. In 1996, she purchased a 14,000 square foot warehouse where she worked until she died. I made that sound like she worked herself to death. She didn't though, I'm sure she worked hard. Her larger works usually stayed outside in the backyard. Because of that, she was able to study the dramatic changes in the surfaces. 
This sculpture is seven feet high and a cluster of individual sculptures. With this piece, Frey finished the surfaces with a worn, faded, and pitted patina. This gave it a rough and weathered look. Frey collected figurines from thrift shops and local flea markets and used those as material for her art. Frey recreated these objects in her sculptures and paintings. She said, I have taken dozens of small objects, clowns, statues of liberty, dogs, parrots, chairs, dollies, skeletons, sweaters, shoes, and every material, porcelain, straw, paper, wood, plastic, fabric. I have assemble, assembled them in unlikely groups, photographed them, painted them on paper, canvas, stoneware plates. I've done this until I've created a unity out of the confusion of want, unwanted junk objects. While the figurines she collected were inspiration for her work, her paintings turned them into animated characters and stories. These stories were the boundaries between figure and figurine as well as trash and functional object. Her paintings and pastel display her own concepts of space and human interaction. They resemble the clutter of her Oakland house and backyard. Frey won many awards. One of those was second prize in sculpture for her work Patio Planter which was a ceramic vase in the 13th annual Pacific Coast Ceramic Exhibition. I could not find this piece, but here's another one of her ceramic vases. She's also the recipient of two National Endowment for the Arts Fellowships and an American Craft Council Fellowship. Frey experimented with dynamic colored vases and made observations regarding gender and power issues as they came along in the mid-20th century America. She is best known for her ceramic sculptures of arrogant men and anxious women. And here are my sources.